Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to plot images using matplotlib. We'll explore how to plot images in multiple ways, such as plotting a single image or plotting multiple images in a format like a 2x2 grid or a 1x4 row, etc. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll do is load up our image. I have a few images over here that we will be practicing with. Okay. So what we can do is load our image using the pillow library, or you can use the plt.imread function that's in matplotlib, but I prefer using pillow because it supports more file formats and it's much more reliable. Also many cool methods. For example, you can do resize if you want to. All right. So just load the image that you want to. Then we'll move towards creating our figure and access object. So we'll do plt.subplots, create the figure and access object. Then we'll do access.imshow, and this is the key method towards plotting images. We just pass in the image that we loaded, and that's it. We just need to do plt.show, and we're done. There we go. There's our image. Another cool thing that we can do is plt.access and then turn off the ticks, basically, the borders. So now we just see the image. So this is useful if you just want to show the image and make it look more pretty. Otherwise, if you keep this, if you just remove that, that line, then we can actually see this, the pixels, that the X and Y axis to actually tell us how many pixels this image is. You can also resize the image over here and do this and again the axis will show you what the size of the image is you can see that this is 300 on the X and 250 on the Y so having the axis on can be pretty useful at least in the initial development stages all right well we'll just leave that off so it looks nicer um, what we're going to do now is discuss how to plot multiple images so what we'll do is there's just change that and first we'll just define a list of images that we're going to be using okay so now what we're going to do is first modify our code a bit so let's just remove that and here what we're going to do is pass in some parameters so for example if you want four images side by side you can do one and four these two parameters the first parameter being the number of rows and second parameter being the number of columns the default values for these two parameters is one and one Okay, which is why we get a single access object by default. But doing this gives us four access objects. Let me just quickly show you proof of that. So if I do print the length of axis, we now get four. Okay, we get four access objects instead of one. Let's just change this to a plural now to be more accurate. And let's just begin writing our code. We'll iterate over our images, our image paths. Okay. We'll do enumerate so we get the index as well. And then we'll do image and we'll load the image open. And then we're going to do image path. Then we'll do access and use the index to access the access object. That's a bit weird saying that, but we're accessing the access object within the access list. Okay, so we'll do I am show and then pass in the loaded image. And what we're also going to do is pass this over here, okay? So that it applies it onto each axis. Otherwise, it only does it to, to the active one, which would be the last axis object created. Um, so what we have here is our four images, but they look pretty small right now. So what we can do is use the fig size parameter to make it bigger. And this makes it a lot more bigger in width okay so now we're getting some bigger images and when there's a lot of useless white space over here so what you can do there's a function called plt tight layout okay and you can use this all right so what this does is basically removes a lot of that white space it basically makes it a lot more constrained and the window fits the images much better so this is um, pretty useful and now we'll move on to the final part of this video where we discuss how to make a 2x2 two two grid because that's slightly more difficult 
uh, if only because the format of the access list over here changes. It changes from a 1D list to a 2D list. So that just adds a slight bit of complication. So what we can do is num columns is equal to 2. Or actually, let me show you a better way of doing this. You could just set up a double for loop, but let me show you a more advanced way of doing it. So what you can do is zip together the accesses dot ravel and what ravel does is basically unravels the access object so it turns from a two by two grid a two by two list into a one by four list so basically instead of access one access two access three and access four this is what it looks like so it becomes it becomes like this a one by four list that's what it does and that makes it easier for us so we can put it into a single for loop then we'll do images over here so what this does is gives us the access object and the image path all right it looks a bit complicated but it's actually become simplified if we think about it no need to create multiple loops okay so what we're going to do is run this code now and there we go okay so immediately there's a lot of extra white space so what we'll do is just try removing this parameter first because that's the cause it's making the figure very wide all right so this is what it gives us which is fine we don't need to manually def define a size the default size is just fine you can also resize the images if you want them all to be the same size and yeah that's pretty much how you can plot multiple images and you can expand this code to do to work on any number of images like three by three a grid four by four by two grid etc all right this is the end of this video hope you guys found it interesting and useful